Well, hello and welcome to Over the Vest Nurseries. This is David Wilson here in our nurseries on a beautiful day in early autumn. The sort of day when it's really great to be outside and especially surrounded by all of these gorgeous plants, ones that you might want to think about growing in and around your home. And if you'd like to find out more about all of the plants that we grow and are offered through a network of garden centers in our region, then I'd ask you to think about clicking and subscribing to this channel because we're busy posting new videos all the time featuring many of the outstanding varieties that we know perform very well in this region. Now on the nursery here we grow lots of trees and perennials and grasses and ornamental climbers and roses and so on but a very large part of our production are flowering shrubs and when I show you this gorgeous variety here which has been introduced by first editions I think you'll see that this is without doubt probably one of the top varieties that you'll want to think about growing in your garden. This is a variety called Strawberry Sunday, an upright growing form of the Hydrangea paniculata or panicle hydrangea that's bushy and compact, one that only grows about four to five foot high by about the same wide. And as you see, in from about midsummer onwards, it starts to produce these conical shaped heads that come out first with a kind of light lime green color then open up to these beautiful creamy white flowers that stand up prominently above the canopy of the plant and then as we get into cooler temperatures in the middle of the earlier part of the fall and then even stretching into the other parts of the fall you'll see that it'll start to take on pink coloring and even a light red color too. This is a really tough, hardy zone three plant, so it will grow anywhere within our region. Has its origins in the colder, harsh climates of China and Japan and Korea and the Sakhalin Island, which is way up north of Hokkaido in what is now Russia, but used to be part of Japan. A really tough, hardy, reliable plant that will take whatever temperatures we throw at it. And more importantly than that, this is a very dependable flowering variety because it's not bothered about the temperatures. It will grow well in a sunny, well-drained position. Now it'll cope with a variety of soil types, just about any type of ordinary garden soil, and it will do very well there, except really wet, saturated sites. Avoid those and you'll find that it will grow out very well. Now if I zoom in here on the tip of this growth, you'll see that it carries its flowers on the tops of the current year's growth and that gives a little clue to a tip that I want to pass on to you and that is that this is a type of hydrangea that should be pruned hard back in the early part of the year. When you do that you encourage it to produce lots of growth, lots of strong sturdy stems that as you see then carry all of these gorgeous big flowers on the tips of the growth from about midsummer onwards. And if you're interested in finding out more about how to prune them, I'd suggest that you click and look through the rest of this channel where we posted a video earlier this year that shows you exactly what you can do to get the best from it. You'll also see that this particular variety has very nice bright red stems too on the young growth, which contrasts very nicely with the kind of pure creamy alabaster white flowers. So hardy, grows in sunny or partially shaded conditions, is a fairly compact grower, so it will fit in on the average garden site very easily. It will get to be a rounded plant with lots of these gorgeous flowers, so it will make a very nice independent sort of single specimen. But if you've got the space, you could plant this out in larger groupings or perhaps even grow it as a lowish ornamental hedge or screen. 
great for lining paths and driveways and it makes a wonderful cut flower too. When you cut these nice big strong sturdy stems it's a great plant for floral arranging. So lots and lots of really good things to say about this variety that was developed by a retired nurseryman in northwestern France. Jean Renault retired from his nursery business in 1989. He concentrated on working on his own garden, but his other hobby was breeding panicle hydrangeas. And 25 years later, and 25,000 seedlings later, he selected this variety out and it was introduced by first editions. This is Hydrangea Strawberry Sunday.